Hi, and welcome to Hot at Home, your questions answered. I'm Jackie, and today's question is from Lenora. Lenora says, Hi Jackie, I'm like you. I love to run. But I get black spots under my toenails sometimes from running. Plus, I also get blisters all the time. They hurt too much to run while they heal. I can do other stuff like circuit training and cycling, but I prefer to run, so I feel like they're limiting my potential as a runner and interfering with my training. Is there any way to prevent these two problems? Yeah, there are, there are ways to prevent these two problems. I used to get blisters all the time when I first started running. Um, I, would, I would advise you to uh, invest in a really good pair of running socks. Um, running socks are different than regular socks. Regular socks, especially sports socks, can be, can be sometimes quite thick and padded to provide, um, provide cushioning, but the problem with that is that they, they can cause a lot of rubbing against the skin. So running socks actually have two layers and they're a very thin sort of micro layer kind of thing. Um, and what happens is instead of rubbing against your skin, the layers rub against each other. Um, so instead of rubbing on your skin and creating a blister, it, it just rubs against itself and then you wind up blister free. So I would, I would recommend definitely checking out proper running socks, going to a running store and getting, getting a few pairs of those. Uh, they can really help you out. I would also recommend uh, taking a look at the shoes you're running in. Uh, if you're running in proper running shoes or if you're running in cross trainers or uh, something designed for a different sport maybe. Um, maybe they're not fitting you properly and maybe they're rubbing you in spots where they shouldn't be rubbing you. Um, I would recommend going to a proper running store and um, getting properly fitted by a professional for your shoes. Um, the, the professional can, can take a look at the way you stand and the way your foot lands and recommend a shoe for you that will fit you properly and provide the right kind of cushioning uh, and give you the most comfortable run. And while, while doing that and going to a proper store and getting, uh, having a professional help you out and spend time with you and all that, then obviously you're obligated to buy the shoe from them. Uh, at least I would hope that you would feel obligated to buy the shoe from them after they spent that much time helping you out. Uh, and that can be a bit more expensive from something, buying something from a running store, a proper running store, instead of like the discount stores and stuff like that. But you the good news is you only have to do that the one time. Uh, after you're properly fitted and you know what a great shoe is for you to run in and doesn't cause you blisters or any other problems and it's comfortable, um, then you know what it is. You know what, you know what brand it is and what model it is and you know your size. So um, you can buy it online, you can buy it at discount stores, you can buy it wherever you want at that point. You just you know, for me, I've been running in the same shoes now for years, um, and I don't even try them on anymore. I just walk into the store and say, I want that, that brand, that model, and this size, please. And they give me my shoes, and I check to make sure the sizes are right, and I pay, and I walk out. <laughs> I don't even try them on anymore because I, I just know they're going to fit. They feel fine. They feel great. I don't get blisters. I don't have problems. Um, and that's the same thing with this whole black, uh, black spots on your toenails as well. Uh, I'll tell you what that is. That's blood. That's blood because... Um, blood spots because you're putting stress in some way uh, on, on the skin but underneath your toenails. So what's probably happening is your toe is probably hitting the end of your shoe um, or your toenail is. So I know some women like to keep their toenails a little bit longer for nice pedicures and stuff like that, but um, I would recommend if, you, if that's you and your toenails are longer than the end of your toes to cut them uh, and keep them shorter. Um, because if your toenails are hitting the end of your shoes, then that's definitely why your toenails are feeling stressed when you run. Um, they're, you know, they're hitting the end of, end of your shoes and, and, and causing, uh, you know, some, it's just not, it's not, it's, it's, it's causing tears on the skin underneath. So um, uh, that's another reason that I would also recommend getting, getting properly fitted for shoes because uh, if your toenails are already short, maybe your shoes are too small for you and your toes, are, you're, just your toes are hitting the end and by the nature of things, it's stressing your toenail and, and causing, causing a little bit of bleeding under there, which turns black. Um, so, you know, definitely, definitely go and, and get, get your shoes checked out for both of these problems, you know, and, and buy what's right for you. Buy, buy, don't go by fashion. Don't go by, you know, style. Go by comfort and feel because this is a run. This isn't a fashion show, right? I mean, screw cute. Uh, you need to feel good when you're running. So don't get it sucked into every new brand that comes out. No, this one looks so cute. And it's such a cute color. And let's go, let's just try them out. But why would, you know, why do that and risk blisters and black toenails when you know that this other one is functional and will get you where you get, do for you what you need it to do without causing you any harm or damage or pain? Um, and maybe it's not as cute, but who cares? Again, it's, it's a run, not a fashion show, right? So 
Anyway, I hope that really helped you out, and good luck with your runs and your training, and I hope that uh, that we can solve the, the blisters and the black toenails for you, and I hope that really helped you out. Anyway, take care. We'll see you again next time.